Hey guys, this is Brandy with another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I edited this macro shot. Now, I took this shot at a local park, and it is a macro shot of some sort of leaf. I'm not exactly sure what kind of leaf, but yeah, some sort of leaf. And so I'm going to show you guys how I uh, color graded this image and all that jazz. So let's not waste any more time, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go in. First, I want to show you guys the before. So here is the before, and then there is the after. So let's try to get that look once again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient map. So I'm going to go right here to my, adjustment, uh, my adjustments, and I'm going to go to, where is it, gradient map. And then right here, you're going to want to click on here, and I'm going to select this magenta toned one. Now, this I don't think is automatically in Photoshop. I believe this is one I had found somewhere for free, but I cannot recall where. So I'm just going to put a link to it down in the description box. Select OK. OK, now I'm going to change my blending mode to soft light. And I'm going to take my opacity down a bit. So I'm going to go down to about 35%. Next, I'm going to adjust the exposure just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go right back down here. Actually, I'm going to go here to my levels. And I'm going to take my shadows up to about 12. My mid-tones are going to go down a bit. I'm going to go to 0 0.91, and over here, I'm going to take my highlights up to 241. Of course, like I always say, your adjustments aren't going to always be, you know, spot on. It's not going to be the same as mine, but just play with the sliders until you're satisfied, and I'm sure you're going to get a great result. So the last thing, well, almost the last thing we're going to do is we're going to color grade this immensely. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go up to uh, color lookup and I'm going to go right here where it says abstract and I'm going to select this one right here. I believe you say it, it's pronounced sienna blue. I could be wrong but yeah and there we go and that's all. So the last thing I'm going to do and I do this to all of my images is I'm going to just sharpen it a tad. So I'm going to go right here to my background layer and I'm going to duplicate it by clicking Control J on my keyboard. Next I'm going to go to Filter, Other, and select High Pass Filter. Now here's how the high pass works. You want to up your radius just to where you can see a tiny bit of detail in your image. You can also look right here, but I think when you look right here, it's easier to overdo it. So I try to look over here. So uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to take my radius up to four. And then you're going to select OK. I selected Enter. And then you're going to want to change your blending mode to Soft Light. And if the sharpening is too much for you, you can always lower your opacity. So, of course, once you're done, you're going to right-click your background layer and select Flatten Image. So guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please comment down below. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.